Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a new vlog. It is Thursday morning, August 8th, and we are starting a new vlog. Um, I have a pretty busy day, next couple days. We are actually, I'm going to put you guys down here, actually. We are going on vacation, a little bit of a staycation. We're not going far, but we did rent a house and a boat for the weekend, just for like a long weekend, just to kind of get out, do something fun, do something during the summertime. So we're leaving for that tomorrow, and then we'll be staying through Monday of next week. So I'm super excited, but because of that, I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done. Obviously, I need to pack everything. Luke needs to pack his things. Um, Sebastian is actually coming with us, so I need to pack all of his things. And just because of the kind of person I am, anytime we leave for any type of vacation, I like to clean the house beforehand, so that way when we get back, we come back to a clean house. So I need to clean the entire house. I am working on laundry right now. I just started that. I wanted to get majority of our laundry done just because Sundays are usually our laundry days. And since we're gonna be gone on Sunday this weekend, I didn't wanna have to come home and do a ton of laundry. Like obviously when we get back, we're gonna have to, you know, wash all like our bathing suits and everything else we bring with us this weekend. But I wanted to get, you know, all of the laundry that we currently have. I just wanted to get all of that washed and put away. And yeah, and then I'm also going to my chiropractor today. I'm getting my lashes done, thank God, because they are getting bald. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow before we leave. So there's just a lot going on and that needs to get done. I'm trying not to get stressed, um, but I think right now, I think I might put kind of a pause on everything and maybe go on a walk. I have been on a workout kick recently. I just started working out a little bit last week into this week so it's going okay I'm not doing anything crazy like I'm literally just on the elliptical for like 20 minutes um like three to four times a week so it's nothing crazy like I know there's a lot of people that hear that and probably like that's not doing anything or like you could be doing so much more I get it but you know what I'm just doing what works for me right now. And I just, I'm someone, I hate working out. I hate exercising. There's nothing about it that I like. I don't get that high afterwards of like, oh, this feels so good. Like, no. So I'm just kind of starting out slow and I'm just doing things that I feel like doing. And I feel like, I mean, I don't want to speak too soon because I am really bad at keeping routines. And I feel like once I start working out, I end up just stopping um but this time around what I'm trying to do is not being on like such a strict schedule and trying to hold myself to such a strict schedule because I find when I do that specifically with exercising that's when I end up giving it up so now I'm just trying to do it where I'm just gonna work out whenever I feel like it in a way I feel like that doesn't make sense because I don't like working out and I don't feel like it but it, not giving myself a, such a strict schedule like I need to work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or I need to work out Monday through Thursday. I'm just kind of working out any day that I want to work out. And if it ends up being two times a week, that's great. If it ends up being five times a week, that's great. So that's kind of what I'm trying out. It seems to be working out so far. I even last week got up a couple of days like earlier and worked out like even before I went to work like who am I but I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing that just because I feel like I'm just tired in the mornings and just kind of like lagging a little bit and I feel like I can't get as good of a workout in just because I'm like tired and I feel like my body is tired and so I feel like I go a lot slower on the elliptical when I work out in the mornings compared to you know if I come home at night and do it um so I think I might stick with the nightly working out I don't know. Again, it's just going to be one of those things. Like if I feel like getting up in the morning and doing it, that's what I'm going to do. Or if I want to work out at night, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. I woke up this morning. I actually woke up in the middle of the night. I think I just slept wrong, but I actually woke up in the middle of the night with a headache that hurt so bad. And like my neck is hurting me. And I even woke up with a headache, like when I actually got up for the day. So I just like was not in the mood for working out. I just felt like working out was gonna make it worse. So um, I didn't exercise this morning, but I am gonna try to do that tonight. Um, 
And then, yeah, I am going to try to exercise tomorrow as well before we leave. But yeah, I kind of forgot where I was going with that. Main reason I'm trying to work out is basically just to be heart healthy. I mean, I would definitely like to tone up and build up my muscle a little bit. That would be nice so I don't look so flabby, but it's not for like a weight loss thing or anything like that as far as like physically why I want to work out. It's mainly I just want to, you know, keep my heart healthy and, you know, just one of those things like thinking about in the future, like as I get older, like I just want to keep my body moving and keep it strong in a way so that way like the older I get, Yet, um, hopefully my mobility will stay with me <laughs> until I die. Um, so that's really my main reason. So that's kind of another reason why, um, I mean, you definitely should, you know, exercise every day, but that's just kind of another reason why um, I'm just kind of working out whenever I feel like it. So that's going on with that. Um, I think the main reason I brought that up is because I said I'm probably going to take Sebastian on a walk. I'm still going to try to get on the elliptical today, but because I didn't exercise this morning and just because I do have so much to do today, I feel really scrambled right now. Like I'm just kind of like walking like this around my house. Like I don't know where to start because there's so much I want to get done. So I think I want to kind of just reset myself, start with a clean slate, go on a walk so me and Sebastian can get our exercise and then I can come back and hopefully get my life together. But yeah, I just wanted to pop on here, start a new vlog. Of course, I'll vlog throughout the day and then of course through this weekend. Um, I'll try to vlog later as like I kind of pack everything up. I thought about doing another pack with me because I did that for our Mexico trip and I thought that was so much fun. I don't know if you guys found that video interesting, but I just feel like it's one of those videos it's almost like the same category as like clean with me's or like organize organizing videos like i just feel like they're just relaxing to watch like even if it's not a video you're just like sitting down and watching i feel like it's just one of those videos that's nice to just put on while you're clean your house or you know what i mean so i almost thought about doing another pack with me but i don't think i'm gonna do that this time i think i'll just kind of vlog as i pack oh well it looks like my partner in crime I was gonna take him on a walk, but he is, he is out. So no, I'm sure he'll definitely wake up, especially when I leave the room because he's my little Velcro dog. So whenever we move on to the next thing, I'll make sure to vlog it. That's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit.
of course I always overpack and things are busting out the seams. Um, in that backpack I have majority of Sebastian's stuff. I was able to fit pretty much everything. The only things I weren't able to fit is I, I mean, I have a beach towel for me and Luke, but I also wanted to pack a third beach towel for Sebastian. And then I just have another extra towel for Sebastian. Um, just in case we always keep one out just to kind of wipe his paws off if they get dirty from being outside. I know the place we're going to is going to have towels, but I don't know. I'm just going to bring an extra one for him just in case. I have our koozies. Um, and then, yeah, everything in this bag is majority of my stuff. Clothes, my computer, tripod, um, things like that. And then I have all the toiletry stuff in that bag. Um, so yeah, I wasn't able to fit our blankets in any, any of the bags, which I should have known better. Um, but you guys know me, I always need to bring a blanket with me everywhere we go. It's just like my security blanket, literally. Um, and then I'm just bringing a second one also for Sebastian. I don't know how people with kids do it because I don't know. I feel like I wasn't packing a ton, but like we're really busting at the seams here and I couldn't fit a lot of the stuff. And this is the first time I've like packed a bag for Sebastian. Like this is the first time we're going on like a vacation together. So I don't know. I was kind of shocked. Like, I mean, I am happy I was able to fit most of his stuff in the backpack, but like, I don't know. I'm just so used to packing for myself. So that was an adjustment. I can't imagine if I had kids, I would have probably like 10 million bags, but, but yeah, so everything's pretty much packed. Um, I'll just leave this stuff out. So for when Luke packs things, his things up, maybe he can fit, um, that stuff in there, but yeah. Um, as far as now, I'm just going to kind of hang around. I have my nail appointment later and then we'll pretty much pack up the car and get on our way. Oh, oh, oh. 
afternoon. It is Wednesday, August 21st. It is about 4.20 in the afternoon. I'm in my workout clothes. I just did a workout downstairs and I'm about to get in the shower, but I got an Amazon package. So I thought we could just do a good old vlog, relaxed style shopping haul for you all. Now, everything in this package is gonna be mainly Halloween decorations, which I told myself I was not going to buy any new decorations this year, Halloween and Christmas, just to save a little bit of extra money. Even though it is like my favorite thing in the whole world is just to continue to build my um, decoration collection up, I guess you could say. And I love just like looking at new decorations, like what, you know, Amazon and other places come out with each year. But originally I did tell myself, no decorations this year just to save a little bit of extra money it's just one of those things i don't need and i do already have a lot already specifically for christmas now for christmas i'm gonna try to not buy any but i don't know if i'll be able to contain myself because i also said that for halloween decorations but once i got you know, on Amazon and Lakeside Collections, you know, my favorite places to get decorations from. I just, I couldn't help myself. So I did order some stuff on Lakeside, um, but that is not here yet, which I feel like I also do this every year. I need to start ordering decorations on Lakeside like the second they launch them because I feel like some places, some orders that I make through them, it just takes forever to get to me. And I'm someone that decorates very early, like first week of September, first or second week of November, my decorations are going up for the holidays. I'm being very dramatic. I literally made an order on Lakeside like three days ago and but nothing has shipped yet. So now I'm like getting impatient, but no, for real. I might've even talked about this in past vlogs, but like there have been times where I've ordered decorations on Lakeside and it's literally taken like months to get to me. And I feel like I do that every year. I need to start, you know, ordering things like as soon as they launch them. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, once I do get that stuff from Lakeside, I'll try to, you know, show you guys. Um, also, as we're kind of talking about decorations, I don't think I'm going to be doing Decorate With Me's this year. I know I do them every year and I actually really like them. I always enjoy, well, not always, sometimes it can be kind of stressful just because there's a lot of like footage and editing involved, but they are like some of my favorite videos that I've done and I really like, you know, watching other people's Decorate With Me's, but I don't know. I'm not going to continue to talk about the same thing when it comes to YouTube, but since I pretty much just do vlogs, now um I don't think I'm going to do decorate with me so I apologize about that I might do something along like an Instagram reel something like that so if you're not already following me on Instagram that would be the place to follow me I'm definitely um into doing reels and all that sort of stuff I haven't fully decided if I'm gonna do a reel yet but if I do um any type of like decorate with me content it's more than likely going to be an Instagram reel. So maybe in the future years, I'll do them again. But I think for this year, I'm just not going to worry about doing it. Um, okay, anyways, let's get back to the Amazon package. So I'm just going to pull out things at random. I do have a couple or a few things in here that are not Halloween decor. Um, so I guess I'll just kind of start with that stuff, get that out of the way first. Um, so one of the first things I ordered are just some of these filters for our vacuum. I did recently get a new vacuum, which I will link that vlog if you want to go ahead and check that out. But we still have our old one, which I just keep downstairs. Um, I'm a psychopath. I like having a lot of vacuums. So our old vacuum is downstairs and it's just very convenient to, you know, vacuum our downstairs. So that way we don't have to keep lugging, you know, a vacuum up and down the stairs. And recently I went through and I cleaned that vacuum really well. And I did want to get some backup um, filters for our vacuums, which now that I'm thinking, I think this is for our old one because the new one I got came with these filters. So I'm pretty sure I just ordered backups for our old one. I might have to double check. Um, but either way, just some filters for our vacuums. Um, I also picked up this dishwash cleaner, this A-Fresh, A-Fresh, 
however you say it. I really like to use these. Obviously, I get them for our dishwasher and then I also get the tabs for our washer machine. I feel like it does a pretty good job. I use them pretty, well, I don't know. I wouldn't say pretty regularly. I probably do um, these for our dishwasher once a month and then the ones for our washing machine, I think I do like every other month. And I feel like our dishwasher or our washer don't get like really dirty. So I feel like that's why I don't notice like a huge difference, but I feel like they do something, at least in my mind, it makes me feel better using these that, you know, just cleaning those things you don't think to clean. So I ran out of these. So I just went ahead and picked these up. I also got some pillow protectors. When we got our new bed, which we got a new bed. If you didn't watch last month's vlog, I'll make sure to link that as well. Um, we got a bigger bed with like, you know, obviously bigger pillows and everything like that. And one of the things I forgot to buy for our bed and new bedding was pillow protectors. Um, so I just picked up some of those to put those on our new pillows. I also kind of getting closer into our Halloween decorations. Um, I have a lot of decorations that light up and obviously need batteries for those. So every single year I always have to stock up on batteries, which I feel like I have to be quiet when I say that, which is Luke's not even here, but like it literally drives Luke nuts how much money I spend a year on batteries and how many batteries I go through, you know, through the Halloween and Christmas season because I just love decorations that light up. So obviously I go through a ton of batteries and so each year I usually have to go back and buy a shit ton of batteries. So I just picked up um, a couple different kinds of batteries. I got like double A's and triple A's and then this specific kind um, for a couple of my decorations that take those kinds of batteries. I think that's everything. Now everything else in this package is all Halloween related. So again, I'm just gonna pull things out at random. So some of the decorations that I got are kind of for our kitchen. I kind of wanted to incorporate some more decorations specifically for our kitchen and then a little bit for our bathroom. Um, I really like how our living room setup looks each year, but kind of similar to Christmas, I need, okay, I don't need, <laughs> I want to get more Halloween decorations so I can, you know, further decorate other rooms in our house. Um, so one of those being is the kitchen. We have our floating shelves over on this side. And I have a couple things that I'll set up on them, but other than that, I don't really have any extra stuff to put on those shelves. And so that's kind of one of the things that I really wanted to focus on this year is getting more decorations to kind of, you know, put all over our floating shelves. I think it's gonna look really cute. Um, so one of those things I got is this sign. I have always wanted like a coffee bar area and that was actually one of the things I really wanted when we were going through the house buying process. In this house we don't have room for that. Behind me is where we keep like our coffee maker and things like that which it's fine. It's not like a deal breaker um, but it does make me really sad that I can't buy like specific decor for like a coffee bar. Like I always see things like that online and it just it just hurts my heart a little. Like I would really like to get decor like that. Um, but anyways, I saw this sign on Amazon and I fell in love with it. I just thought it was the cutest thing. And I thought, even though I don't really have room for this like on our counter or for like a coffee bar area, I thought I could still get this to put on our floating shelves. Um, because it, I mean, it kind of goes with the kitchen. Like this is where our coffee maker is and everything like that. Um, so I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. I had to get it and I think it's still gonna look pretty cute just up on our floating shelves. Um, so it just says freshly booed coffee served with scream and sugar. And then it just has the accent of a few little ghosties up there. I just thought this was adorable. So that's the first thing I got. The next thing is gonna be hard to see um, just because it's in the packaging, but I wanted to get more of just like the creepy black cloth. I think this specific one, I think this is the only packaging in here, but the specific listing that I got said it came with six different cloths, which 
maybe there's six in here. I'll have to open them. The reviews did say they were on the smaller side, so maybe there are six in here. Um, but I just wanted to get some more of those just to kind of put, again, on our floating shelves, um, maybe other places in our kitchen or you know, the bathroom or, you know, I just wanted to have extras. I think I already have like two or three in my collection, like decor currently. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to pick up another pack just to have some extras because I just feel like that's just an easy, cheap option to kind of spruce up your space when it comes to decorating for the Halloween time. The next thing I got is this right here. I think these are the lights. It is the light. So I got some more lights and kind of what I'm thinking is I'm going to string these on top of our entertainment center. Um, of course, I have little trinkets that light up that go in each of the cubbies in our entertainment center. And I have like light up um, jack-o'-lantern lights that are kind of on the bottom, like where our TV is. But I just, I like I said, I really like decorations that light up and I'm always interested in finding more because I love the look, whether it's Halloween or Christmas time. I love the look when like all the lights are off and you just have those lit up. Like, I just think it looks so cool and so festive. And I'm just always in the mood, like I need more lights. So I found these on Amazon and I thought they were really cute. And I know it's kind of hard to see. I apologize, I don't wanna untangle them just yet, but they come with little bats and jack-o'-lanterns. You can kind of see it right there. And then I think there's some ghosts. Yeah, there's some like ghosts in there as well. Um, yeah, I just thought these were really cute. They were kind of on the cheaper side, but they had some pretty good reviews. Um, so hopefully, these lights work out really well. The next thing I got is something that I have been eyeing for a while, but I wouldn't say it was expensive, but out of all like the decorations that I had saved in my Amazon wish list, it was one of those things was that was a little bit more expensive than everything else. And I just kept each year, there was just always other decorations that I wanted instead of this. So I just never ended up getting it. But this year I finally got it and it is the little hand from the Adams family. Does he have a name or is it just hand? I don't remember. There it is. Oh, isn't this so cute? Now, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put him yet. I might put him in the kitchen. I might put him in our entertainment center. Um, like I said, I love decorations that light up. So usually when I'm gonna get new decor items, I do give myself the stipulation that they need to light up because I just like that look a lot better when it comes to decorations. Um, but every year I do find some decorations that don't light up that I just can't pass up. And this year, this just happens to be the one that I ended up getting. He's super cute. He is a little bit flexible. I thought he was gonna be like a hard, I feel like the photos online looked like a hard plastic but I guess it's not a huge deal. It's still really, really cute and I'm glad I got it. And I feel like it's just one of those things that just fits in really well with the holiday season. I do have like a few other decor items that are from, you know, specific movies that are just kind of like those little Easter egg decorations where if you haven't seen the movie, maybe you wouldn't know exactly what it's from. And so I feel like this kind of fits into that. And then I think I got a couple more things in here. Oh, okay. So this, I was like, what the hell is this? But looking at it a little bit closer, this is just some more of that black cloth that I ordered. So gosh, it's so cute. So really quick, there is some like styrofoam in the back. I'm just gonna leave it for now until I get everything set up. But I got this like little wooden cemetery sign that does light up. I think it said it came, oh no, it says on. Okay, no, maybe this one didn't come with batteries. I feel like one of the decorations I got came with batteries, but maybe I'm thinking of one of the like side ones. Um, so yeah, this does light up. I think it takes a couple AAA batteries if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, it's pretty much all just made out of wood. So it does feel a little flimsy, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna have to remember to be very careful with it, um, especially packing it away for the year. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was so 
cute and again it lights up so I think it's gonna go really cool in our entertainment center I think that's where I'm gonna end up putting it um and then maybe I can replace I don't know, something, one of my other decor items that usually goes in our entertainment center, maybe I can replace it with this one and then I can just move that into like our kitchen on our floating shelves. Yeah, that is everything that I got off of Amazon and that is all of our Halloween decor items so far. It's getting late, Luke's gonna be home probably within the half hour. So I need to go ahead and shower, start on dinner. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. For what's going on today next time anything's going on i'll make sure to vlog it and yeah i will talk to you all later all right i'm already back with another unboxing i love how i was complaining about lakeside collections and how they always like send my stuff out like they, it takes forever to get to me um i got it right over here it's gonna be so chaotic sebastian's playing with his toy so i apologize about that I'm in the process of making dinner. This is real life. But anyways, the last time I vlogged and I was complaining about Lakeside Collections, my stuff didn't even ship yet. So by the time it shipped and now got to me, it was like probably like a little less than 48 hours. Like it was crazy how fast. So I guess that would be my luck, you know, I'm spending all that time complaining. And then I ended up getting everything. So let's do a little unboxing while I wait for my water to boil. And I'm just gonna pull things out randomly. If his ball is driving you nuts, I guess you can just watch this part on mute. But either way, either way, I'll try to make it quick. So the first thing on top here is I have some towels. I think I got a two pack of these to not only use in our kitchen, but also use in our bathroom as well. So it came with this towel right here, which is just white. It has some ghosts on there and then it says boo. And then the second towel looks like that. Just all black, still has the accents of like the ghost and the boo, um, but it's just obviously a little bit more minimalistic compared to the other towel. So I'm pretty sure I got two of those. I'll grab out the shower decor that I got. So this is the shower curtain that I got. It pretty much looks like the towels, which is interesting. There was a set of towels that came, or oh wait, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember if these are the towels that go with the shower set, but there was another set of towels that looked very similar to this, but they were like three to four dollars like more expensive. So I ended up just getting two of these. I was thinking these are the kitchen towels, but I might be incorrect. These might be the towels that come with the bathroom set. Either way, one of them was more expensive than the other. They looked very similar. So I just got two of the less expensive kind. Um, but yeah, anyways, here is what the shower curtain looks like. So it's just all black and it just has these ghosts on them. I'm gonna put these in our main bathroom. I didn't wanna go crazy and get a shower set for all three of our bathrooms, at least not this year. <laughs> Maybe we'll try again in the years to come. But yeah, I just wanted to get some stuff to decorate our main upstairs bathroom. And then these are the like shower curtains that come with it. Again, they're just the little ghosts. Super, super cute. I'm so excited to put all of this stuff up. So I have two little packages right here and I'm thinking what these are, are these like little ghost trinkets. I got a male and a female one. So I'm assuming that's what these are. They're bigger than I thought they were. I don't know why I thought they were just gonna be small little things. Um, oh my gosh, look how cute. So here's what like the little girl ghost looks like. And I think these are the ones that came with batteries. Oh, but I have to pull the tab. Okay, I apologize guys. These do light up and I'm pretty sure these come with the batteries, but they have like the little tab you have to pull and I'm just gonna leave it as is until I get everything set up. Um, but yeah, here's like what the little girl ghost looks like. And then here's what he looks like with his little top hat. Super, super cute. I just thought these were adorable. And like I kind of already explained to you guys, I love getting little trinket. Um, decorations that light up. Those are my things. So anytime I find new ones, I just, I feel like I have to get them. And then I only have one more thing to show you guys. So it's not as big of a lakeside haul as I feel like I've done in the past. And the last thing I 
picked up is a little, I think it's like a country house. They had a couple different options. They had a country house and then like a haunted house. I really, really loved the haunted house and that's the one I wanted, but it was already sold out. And so I was going back and forth. Like, did I want to get the country house because it wasn't my favorite compared like between the two, but I still really wanted it. So I ended up just getting it anyways. So let me open it up here so we can take a peek at it together. And it also does light up. So, okay, it is actually really cute in person. I'm really glad I ended up picking it up because I almost didn't because I really wanted the haunted house one. But yeah, here's just kind of what this looks like. Again, I haven't decided if I'm gonna put it um, in our kitchen, like our floating shelves situation, or if I'll put this in our entertainment center. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of what that looks like. Oh my God, I love like the little hay bales on the side, the pumpkins, all the ghosts. Um, it does light up, if I haven't said that already. Super cute. So that's everything that I picked up from Lakeside. And as far as the rest of the night, I'm just going to finish making dinner. I did work today, so I still have to shower and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna eat, shower, play with Sebastian. Luke's gone camping. I don't know if I talked about that yet or not. Um, so he'll be gone this weekend. So it's just me and the bean. Um, so yeah, we'll play and just kind of hang out. I do work again tomorrow. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I probably won't vlog the rest of this weekend. I am going to a coworker's house on Sunday for like a little pool party get together thing. Um, but I'm not going to vlog that just cause, you know, I don't know, dealing with my work and, um, She's not on social media herself, so I'm not gonna like go to her house and vlog, that type of thing. Um, but yeah, the next time anything is happening, I'll make sure to vlog it. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed this little lakeside haul and I hope you guys are as excited for Halloween as I am. Okay, I'll talk to you all later.